Begin with some breaking news this morning. Police are still on the scene of a deadly crash that still has I-20 shut down this morning. 11 Alive's Karis Belger is at the scene now. Karis, this was a fiery scene on a major interstate. What are you seeing now? Good morning. This is certainly not the way anyone would imagine starting their Sunday morning right now. Police are still unseen and there's traffic backed up for more than a mile here. I have spoke with some people who happen to get out of their cars because they've been trapped since about early this morning around 5 when this 530 after this uh, accident just took place. A few of them said, you know, they have just been sitting there. They've been waiting, trying to get something done. Police were working for hours to try and remove the wreck. They are just now getting to the other car that is here blocking this interstate. Now, a few people, as I mentioned, got out of their cars. Some of them had to use the restroom. Some of them were just trying to get gas. A few told me they'd been sitting here for at least three hours prior to this crash happening. Now, we have been working to get some more details. I understand from police that they have confirmed two people have died. We are working to try and get some more information, but right now the big thing is this traffic backup and how long people have been sitting here and waiting. We are hoping to hear from a few more of them. Some really had to run. They did not want to be on camera because, as I mentioned, gas and using the restroom have really become the primary need while they've been sitting here waiting for this wreck to be cleared. I will continue to keep you updated throughout the morning. Once I have more details, I'll be sure to bring them to you. Christy. All right. This at I-20 eastbound right at I-285. Avoid that area if you can.